Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFreaks.com, your boy is back and out and did it again. Guys, listen, today we're going to talk about why you should learn ES6 in all the future versions of JavaScript. Very simple. We're going to start it up with this one. It's the latest version of JavaScript. One thing that you guys got to know, the creator of JavaScript created it in a week. Pretty much. Look it up. He created it in a week, so basically when he created it he didn't think that it was going to be a language that was going to be used for the next 20 30 40 50 years right he never thought that it was gonna be this this uh big right so when he built it there he built it with a lot of flaws and certain things that he wasn't accounting for you know as far as the future right how things will work so Thank God that, you know, the people from ECMA, um, they got together, you know, now technically they're trying to do it every year where they come in and create not a exactly new version, even though everybody says, hey, it's a new version of JavaScript is more about adding extra features to JavaScript because JavaScript is still JavaScript, but all they are doing is just adding a couple of extra features to it, especially, you know, using compilers and transpilers like Babel.js and you know using webpack and you know the whole the whole nine gulp you could use any of those right to help you uh write the new javascript but the best part about it is like i said is the la the latest version of it it's like it has the new features so you always come in and whatever was uh from last year they fix it and they add little things that make your life easier as a developer right now like I just said, it saves you time. There's so many things that you look back, you know, those days of jQuery where, you know, you, you wanted to concat, like, let's say a string, right? You had to go in, like, let's say, a, my name is the variable, and then you fill in the, with the variable, you will say, like, oh, my name is Joe, but you're putting a variable of whatever the user is. So you will have to do is the string, my name is, space, and then close the string, then put a plus, and then put in the variable to concatenate the whole string. But what happens if you had something like a a full a full paragraph, and you had certain six sections that you need to come in and and do this right, and put in different variables? You will have to go in, open up the the string, right, close it up, put a plus, put in the variable, open up the string again basically it's so repetitive and so much work that in reality just is really not worth it right and that's like the old way of coding now thanks to es6 you just come in and template strings guys makes your life easier let's say you want to filter something from a list an array right now you have the filter method let's say you wanted to say show me every every user that is older than 21 now you have the every method right now you can say hey show me some uh you know some of the user uh that have the over uh 21 it, it shows you like there's so many different different methods man and so many cool stuff you know the arrow function which helps you out to keep this the this keyword inside of it like there's so many things guys like it just saves you time man like as a developer you need to learn es6 it's a must especially now it's like come on guys it's like <laughs> it's 2017 we're going to 2018 if you don't know es6 man that should be like you know it's like you learn how to how to write right think about it like this you learn how to write your abcs but when you start writing down sentences somebody got to teach you how to put commas how to put uh parentheses how to put uh you know, semicolons, how to put a, a dot at the end, how to, um, you know, format a function, uh, not function, a sentence, format a paragraph, how to write a, a, a essay. Like, that's the, how ES6 is. It's like, you learn the basics of JavaScript, but now it's time to take it to the next level, right? You have to learn ES6. You can't walk away from it. You know, a lot of people, I see that all the time. Like, people is like, oh, I'll leave it for later. It's like, I'm going to continue practicing more JavaScript. But it's like, guys, what if you learn JavaScript, right? And then, but if I tell you, hey, man, you've been spending a lot of time on, on vanilla JavaScript, right? But at the same time, you could have done 
all the things that you was doing there that took you hours to do, now you could just do it in a, uh, you know, in 20 minutes with ES6. You know what I mean? It saves you time. When you work with employers, what they really care about is can you do something as quick as possible? All right, so it does save you a lot of time, guys. All right, the next thing is all the new frameworks are using it. Every single framework out there. At some point, you know, you're going to see examples that are in ES6, ES6 classes. And people will be like, man, but I don't know how to work with this. I don't understand this. It's like if you would have taken the time to learn ES6, you will understand why people are using the new frame. Basically, all the new frameworks are using uh, ES6, right? You know, a lot of people is like they talk about Vue. They're like, oh, but Vue, you could do it with just vanilla JavaScript. Yeah, but if you want to work on complicated and complex um, web apps, at some point, even Vuex, you have to jump into ES6 just to really create something amazing. Right, so React definitely uses ES6. Uh, Angular uses TypeScript, which pretty much, if you know ES6, you pretty much know TypeScript. The only difference is just TypeScript has like types, you know. All right, now definitely will give you an edge when looking for a new job, guys. It will definitely give you an edge. Think about it like this: this feels very competitive, right? So you and another developer go to the same job interview right you both know html you both know css you both know sas you both know javascript but now he knows es6 and you don't right and the company that is about to hire you right they basically they use es6 for react or uh, let's say they use es6 for uh, any other framework, let's say Ember or whatever they use, right? Now, because you don't know that, that person is going to get hired, right? Now, you got to understand, how long does it take you to learn ES6? I'm being honest, the most it's going to take is like an hour, right? So, it's just going to, it's going to, you know, an hour, two hours, probably, you know, three hours at most of like practicing. And you're going to basically you know hit the ground running and automatically you're going to be able to get those positions because you got to think about it like this man a company looks at it and they're like man so many people are applying to these jobs we don't know which one is the best right we don't know which one is it that we're going to hire which one's going to come in and be able to hit the ground running so the way how they compare things is like okay can he do this yes can he do this no all right so let's just give it to him even though you might have more experience than the other person or have better projects than the other person, at the same time, it's like they like thinking in their head, man, we don't want to train this guy, have this guy here for, you know, three, four hours on the job trying to learn ES6. They want somebody that's going to hit the ground running. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying, guys. Seriously, guys, it's not going to hurt you to learn ES6. It's not going to hurt you. It's going to do nothing but good things for you. It's going to help you get that job. It's going to also, you know, just give you that little edge. You know, a lot of people think about it like this. Same way how you might be fighting and you're like, oh, man, I don't want to spend another two, three hours learning something else. You know how many thousands of developers are like that, too? There's so many people that are lazy. They just don't want to learn new technologies, right? They want to stay with the old things, right? So when you have more skills than those people, automatically you get those jobs, guys. So I will really tell you guys, man, just go hard, man. Take your time. Learn ES6. It's a must now in 2017, 2018. Like, it's definitely a must. If you're going to be doing web development, those are the things and that you need to be learning. Like it or not. All right? I'll see you guys later. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Love you guys. Stay up. You guys may know, man. Listen, I quit my job because of you guys. I want to give you guys all my time, all, all my attention to you guys here on YouTube. Help people out, get jobs, help people, you know, get their money together, get the skills up that they need just to get that job. And once you hit that job, you're out of here, man. You know what I mean? Basically, guys, if you really support the kid, Check out my courses I have right now for this month only. We basically have a special 
if you look on the link below if you sign up for the subscription which is five dollars a month you get access to all my courses right literally all of my courses right now if you just say hey Joe I just want to buy one course from you I don't need every single one cool we have the courses there you go to the description you get 50% off this thing right here says 30 you get it for 15 automatically all right so like I said guys I'm doing this for you guys I, I did all of this for you guys I've been telling you guys from a long time I'm gonna start working really hard for you guys I'm here for you I'm not here for myself I'm here for you guys and this is what I want to do I want to be able to give you guys content constantly give you good quality videos explain things that are difficult and break it down in bite size where you could just kill it right that's the idea guys I want you guys to really succeed and I want you guys to be really good developers out here and when you go to the next interview you could ace it you could say hey man I know this 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 and this and I have my five projects that are legit right guys so yeah check out my website codingface.com I also have links to Udemy there's people that like to have the courses on Udemy it's fine buy it from Udemy my courses are also on udemy.com you can search my name Joe Santos Garcia I love you guys uh, please stay up and just support the channel guys this is like uh, you know something new for me this is something new for uh, for you guys I'm doing this for you guys man straight up this is more like a uh, an experiment where let's see how it goes let's see how how much I can teach you guys how much can I do for you guys for for the next year so please guys support me let me help you out too alright guys love you guys bye